Think that you might have gonorrhea or have you recently received this diagnosis? Stay tuned as we will be talking about the most common symptoms both men and women with gonorrhea experience. Welcome to JHP Medical, I'm Dr. Hart Pinto and I'm going to tell you the most common symptoms of gonorrhea and a few important tips. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. So what is gonorrhea? Gonorrhea is sometimes known as the CLAP and is the second most commonly occurring sexually transmitted infection in the UK. Gonorrhea is caused by the bacteria Neisseria gonorrhea and the infection spreads through unprotected vaginal, oral or anal sex. If left untreated, gonorrhea can cause serious problems for both men and women. Amongst men, the infection can spread to the testicles and the prostate gland, which may have a long-term impact on fertility. For women, the infection can progress to pelvic inflammatory disease, leading to persisting abdominal pain and increased risk of ectopic pregnancy. This is where a fertilized egg implants to an abnormal place outside of the womb. This results in a non-viable pregnancy, which may require surgical intervention. Pelvic inflammatory disease can also cause long-term fertility issues, meaning that you may experience difficulty getting pregnant in the future. In the worst case scenario, if gonorrhea remains untreated, the infection can spread throughout the body. This can cause life-threatening sepsis. So what are the symptoms? Fortunately, complications can be avoided where infections are identified and treated early. Symptoms of gonorrhea normally develop within a few weeks of unprotected sexual intercourse with an infected partner. The top symptoms of gonorrhea experienced by women are pain when passing urine, often described as a burning sensation, unusual vaginal discharge, which is typically green or yellow in colour, heavier periods, with bleeding even between periods or bleeding after sex, or pain to the lower abdomen or pelvis. Men can also experience symptoms of gonorrhea or infection. Amongst men, the top symptoms are pain on passing urine, much like women, unusual discharge from the tip of the penis, again, the same green or yellow color, testicular pain, or even swelling of the foreskin. Depending on your choice of intercourse, you may experience symptoms elsewhere. Discomfort or unusual discharge from your back passage may be experienced where you've engaged in anal intercourse. Where bodily fluid has come into contact with your eyes, you may develop symptoms of conjunctivitis, causing irritation and redness to the affected eye. If you have engaged in oral intercourse, the lining of your throat may be infected. However, it is relatively uncommon to experience any symptoms. Most importantly, in some patients, their gonorrhea infection doesn't always present in the usual way. At least 50% of women and 10% of men, when infected with gonorrhea, remain asymptomatic. This means that they do not experience any symptoms, but are still able to pass on the infection. If you're concerned you may have a sexually transmitted infection, you should seek a test by your doctor or your local genitourinary medicine clinic. Should I get tested? If you're experiencing any of the symptoms above, or believe that you may have been exposed to someone who may have gonorrhea, you should get tested. Testing for gonorrhea is painless, quick and easy. For women, your doctor may decide to take a swab of your vagina or cervix while performing an internal examination. They may take a swab from your urethra, the entrance where you pass urine from. You may be given the option to swab yourself if you are feeling confident, and your doctor should not ask you for a urine sample, as the results for women are not very accurate. For men, the testing is different and your doctor will decide either to take a urine sample or a swab of the discharge from your penis. If you happen to be experiencing symptoms of gonorrhea or infection in other areas, such as your eyes, your throat or your back passage, your doctor will take a swab of any discharge there. So now you may be thinking, I've had my test, how long do I need to wait until I get my results? So great, you've been tested. In some clinics, doctors may be able to perform a rapid test. This is where the doctor is trained to examine your sample under the microscope, giving you an answer there and then. However, not all clinicians are trained to perform this investigation. And in these cases, you should expect to receive your test results in around 14 days. So when will I receive any treatment? You'll receive treatment when you have a positive test for gonorrhea. You may also receive treatment where you are at high risk of having gonorrhea for example, 
you have symptoms or signs strongly suggestive of a gonorrhea infection, or your partner has also been diagnosed with gonorrhea. So what treatment will I need? You'll be glad to know that gonorrhea infections are easily treatable. If your doctor identifies that you are someone that requires treatment, they will prescribe you a course of antibiotics. Currently, in the UK, the antibiotic of choice is ceftriaxone, one gram, given as a single injection. Of course, if you have an allergy to ceftriaxone or are needle phobic, a suitable alternative can be prescribed. Your doctor will normally organise a follow-up test in two weeks after completing your antibiotics. This is to confirm that your infection has been successfully treated and it is advisable to abstain from any sexual intercourse until your second test is negative. Does my partner need to be treated? It's important to recognise that once treated, you can still be reinfected. Therefore, it is important that your partner is examined and completes any required treatment. If you have multiple sexual contacts, it's important to engage with contact tracing, as without treatment, other people may become infected. If undiagnosed, they may experience long-term complications, which may have a significant impact on their quality of life. Your local GUM clinic can assist you with this. How can I prevent infection in the future? There's one simple way of reducing your risk of contracting chlamydia in the future. Where possible, you should try to use barrier contraceptives like the condom. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this information useful. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe, click the bell, or write a comment down below. Of course, this video does not provide individual medical advice and is intended for information purposes only. Do not consider this as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please don't ignore any professional medical advice in seeking treatment because of something you've heard here. If you believe you may have a medical emergency, immediately call your doctor or ambulance service. Thank you.